uh, that was that was fucking sick. Yeah, uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised at that entire thing. Uh, yes. That whole reaction was just one big like, what? Holy and shit! Like I said, it's it's my fault. I should have listened to them before. You know, coming into the thing, kind of they have, they have into. plenty of content for yeah. me for me to pull up. You know, and I just I just hadn't. And uh, man, I, I'm kind of glad I didn't. To be honest, I fucking nailed it, though. dude. They came on screen, and I was like, the Nixon Rodeo. What? <laughs> and they're like some fucking post alt metal <laughs> thing. Okay, all right. I'm getting water. Uh, you need anything? No, nah, I'm good. Welcome back to 307 yes. Reacts. Yes, welcome. Yes, we have Heart Sick Heroin. Uh, they're doing Cassie, which is a flyleaf cover. I don't know if I've ever heard. Have you heard Cassie? I might know it when they start playing now it. listen, this one out here used to listen to a lot of flyleaf back in the day. Uh-huh. I, I might have heard it. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, ring yeah. a bell. I, I saw... In Casper, I saw Seether and Flyleaf. Now, this song probably wasn't released at the time that they came here. This is probably newer. Who knows? Oh, actually, I was going to say, let's see when it was released, but it's a cover, so I can't. I don't know. Well, uh, let's look at this. Chris is going to check really of, quick, find yeah. out, do a little research. You entertain the masses. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be, at some point, going live. We may end up going live this On the road. Would it be this weekend? Yes. Like this weekend, because we're shooting yes. the next week's. Yes. So this weekend, this Saturday, we are going down to Denver. We'll be on the road to see Brandon Hart and the Moonshine Bandits. Uh, damn right. At the... Oriental Theater. There you go. I could... I could the, At the Oriental Theater in Denver. So if you're going to yes. be in Denver, if you're going to that concert, you're going to be yes. in the area, hit us up. We'll be around. We may end up going live from one of our phones as well. We've never gone live like on the road or done the thing, so... We'll see what yeah, happens. We, we might not do it on the road because cell service is kind of spotty between here and there. Oh, yeah. But when we're when in we're Denver, there. We, we, we'll have 5G. It's 5G so, everywhere in Denver, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we, we may do some running around shots before the show or, or like, go live before the we're show. We're going to be and, getting food and stuff and, like, doing the yeah, thing. So, yeah, 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 uploading shorts and things like that. So, yeah. keep an eye out. So, Anyways. Uh, and if you you're find... in the area, come by. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah. Come meet, hit, hit us up. Let us know. Four months ago. Okay, so, so I've yes. I've definitely so, never heard it. I have know that I probably haven't heard it at this point if it's only four months old. Uh, the last time I heard Flyleaf was probably when they came through Casper, which was like, oh, my. The last time I heard Flyleaf, dude, 20, I was like 2012, going into high school. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. it was the early, yeah. early, early, early yeah. days. Maybe it was, yeah. yeah, maybe it was like more like 2008 when they came here. I can't remember. Anyways, so. Let's, uh, this is going to be basically yeah. just a new song for me. I'm not going to recognize Same. it from the original, <laughs> even if, you know, even if, but that's okay because I know some of you will appreciate it for what it is. I think there's a Schecter C1 Platinum or some sort of or variation. Hell... No, I oh. think, I think we determined, well, I don't know because it supposedly they had some member changes. Hellraiser. So mm. I'm thinking the Hellraiser is okay. C1 Platinum. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Anyways, uh, yeah. we're on the road to 50K. This is the Let's year for it. it. So just hit that subscribe button for us. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. Let's fly right into this, shall we? Here we go. I didn't even mean oh. to say let's fly into this. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. I love that that's creeped good, out good, bass line, dude. Tone. Yeah, I like that a lot, dude. That's that's really the, cool. The bass has good tone. The guitar yes. tone is fucking perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, uh, there is a little bit. I don't know. There's a little low end mix missing in the mix for me. Like just a little bit of filler in the bottom end. But I I don't know. That could just I, be. I, I think it's the 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 bass drum needs just a little more oof, a little more thud, a little yeah. more like 
little more like 60k or something or 60 yeah is that what no 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 it's uh 60 hertz or something like that a little more 60 hertz in yeah. the mix or something like that. yeah anyways it, it's, it's still great overall it it's still great it overall is. um I, I so it looks like a new drummer to me also from yes. the last video that we yes. watched is there another member that you're seeing that's different or is it just the drummer it might just be the kind of looks I'd like have just to the, go back and look, the rest of them look remember. familiar to me yeah. uh but i'm not 100 percent sure so you guys let us know uh, if, when you when if and when you come across this now, as far as the mix, I'm the type of person that likes to hear the vocal uh -huh. float on top. This vocal is still on top, but it's still kind of buried with the guitars and stuff a little bit. Um, you know, if you listen also, you could be I, – I think there's a little the, – I think the snare is also a little heavy, just a, a, just a, head be, he, yeah. a, a, a tad bit heavy. So that could be clouding the vocal a little it bit because be. a lot of that exists in the same kind of range with those with those peaks up there in that, that range. That is so true, yeah. Could be. Could be that. You know, it is what it is. It's, yeah. We're not – look, we ain't out here to say we're, you know, like you guys are doing it wrong or anything like that. We're just we're just giving you guys our opinion on, on what we're hearing. And yeah. They, ov overall, I still think it sounds great. So I mean, I mean we try to help, you know, our, our artists with – because we're we've been artists and we've released stuff and like you know getting the hey you know that was great that was fucking perfect nobody's ever done it better those are good and then you get the comments like oh that fucking sucked it's like okay well why yeah. and then nobody's gonna tell you like we're telling you shit's fucking dope yeah okay you guys are For doing sure. a killer yeah, job I, I think you're doing great um <clears throat> but then it's also nice to hear like you know Ethan from Nixon Rodeo when we when we did his song he's like dude. Don't be afraid to give us any input yeah. on what you think. And, you know, when, when you're the artist listening to something you've created, mm -hmm. you listen to it differently than somebody who's never heard it before. Absolutely. There, yeah, and absolutely. So, you, 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 getting an opinion from an unbiased third party, yes. I think, is a really is a really valid and, and good thing to have. And I wish when we release stuff, like, you know, somebody with our type of background, like Knox Hill, somebody who produces music, yeah, 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 music yeah. and stuff, yeah. would react to our videos and go... You know, maybe we could do a little something here and here. There's a little bit missing, but like I would, know, I, like, I wish. And and honestly, that. Glenn Fricker does that stuff on Monday mornings. He does Monday morning mix reviews, yeah. and I'm considered. It's like thirty five bucks to get like on his list oh, or whatever for his live stream. And I'm like, yeah. maybe we should just pull Fucking some cash out of there and throw one up. of our songs on there and just ask him like, just see yeah. what he just see what he thinks. You know, yeah. like, and if he, you know, he might be, it might be real brutal. It might it be might. real brutal. He might throw it up and be like, wow, this is the worst bullshit He's I've like, ever huh, heard. A drummer makes this, huh? He he <laughs> has he does that frequently. Yeah. He's like, wow, you can tell it was mixed by the drummer because yeah. he's fucking like. Yeah, so I'm sure we'll get some of that, but like yeah. at the same time, he does give some good, constructive, quick yeah. feedback on some things. Yeah. So it might be worth it. I don't know. Either yeah. way, I think you guys are doing great. I love the I love the premise of the video. Yeah. Super keep it simple, but yeah. like effective at the same time. Yeah. The, just the straight white background. Absolutely. Trying to get a look at what type of drums he plays. If uh, yo new new guy, uh, let me know in the okay. comments if you come across this. Uh, I'll, I'll, Mr. I'm Greenhorn, keep, let us know. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> yeah. in the air. Oh, whoa, oh, with the guitar drum. Let's go, okay. Oh. Damn, dude. Was that with the Decker? Yeah. Ooh. Living life on the edge. Yeah, bro. Did he do a guitar throw with a cable plugged into that thing? You know, I don't know. Look at, let me, sorry guys. Oh, sorry, I'm just, so cable plugged in. Oh, oh, probably base. plugged into a wireless pack. Yeah. Probably, okay, I get it. Okay, yep, that makes sense. Guitarist has kind of the yeah. same thing. Probably a wireless, it's gotta be a wireless pack, right? Pass me. snare sounds good in this part the snare sounds really good in this part because it's just it's just a nice melodic kind of yeah. whoa over the top it's, there's no there's no definition yeah. for the vocal uh so so it's nice to have a good slap on it right yeah. here because it's kind of musically driven in this part so the the the, the ambient vocals in the background yeah really good man this this whole set it, like so the whole song good. just kind of like sh shifted into this yeah ambient so kind of good. post metal type of thing a post 
pre pre metal. I well, I don't I don't know. I don't know what to call it, guys. I don't know genres. <laughs> DIY like, punk, dude. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> DIY. It's just DIY. Whatever. It makes sense because normally, like, okay, so if I was playing it and I did a throw, I would do neck first. He, he didn't would, do he that. Would. He did back right. first. So, so which he, throws the cable, it throws the cable him. around. Yeah, yeah. So you instead can, of across, you can him. do it. It's it's just one of those. Woo-hoo. Like you said, you talked about living life on the edge when, yeah. when we first saw him do that, bro. That is like, <laughs> I I appreciate your dedication to practice, man. Because <laughs> no I shit. I I know that I have spent my days also like as a, as a kid coming up mm-hmm. playing guitar. I spent my days with a I had a nice guitar that I played when I was like when I was gigging and stuff, mm-hmm. and then I had a real crap guitar that i practiced on is like a shitty squire yeah. and the the strap was literally duct taped to like the guitar on the on the back in the front and it was the guitar that i practiced doing guitar throws yeah. with because the strap would never come off so yeah. i knew that i could fuck it up as bad as i needed to and that thing would still stay on so yeah. i could figure out the rhythm for it so like i don't know if that's how you came up learning how to do it too but like dude you nailed it like i i was always nervous about doing it with a cable i never yeah, I, I never did it with a cable in. I I couldn't I couldn't figure it yeah. out. But the the underthrow is probably the underthrow is the way to go. See, I was always I think I was always trying to do Neck it this first. way. Yeah. yeah, and that makes sense because it's gonna put the cable in front of you. So yeah. mm. smart man. man. That's dude. That's dope. That was that was really Ooh. cool, bro. The scream, the scream yeah. at the end, great, awesome. Great. I haven't heard the original song, so I have no idea yeah. if that's like in the original. If you added that or what what's going on there, but like doesn't it matter. Good. It was dope. Loved it. Well, let, let's see here who's at the end here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her, let Man designs out. a media. Let's go. Okay. I still didn't catch what kind of drums they were, so yeah. way to go, guys. You, you have to you, let us know. You, you, you hit the logo on that one for me pretty good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, dude, it, it sounded good, man, and the video looked great. Mm. Bunch of camera angles. Everyone had close-ups. Yeah. There was, I, I mean, all the... All one the, light in the background is just... Perfect. Yeah, dude. I like I said, keep it simple but but effective. You know, yeah. it's just really good, really good, man. Really good all around, guys. Where are they from? Denver. <laughs> yep. Okay. When we'll you come see you to- this weekend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, come we're gonna, hang out with us. We're gonna be at the Oriental Theater on Saturday, so yeah. if you guys are down there, like that's where we're gonna be at. Hit up Chris on Instagram yeah. or whatever. We'll figure yeah. it out. But uh, anyways, or yeah, fa- or Facebook. I I think that's where we've been talking to him is Facebook. So. That was great. So yeah. like I. I always feel bad, uh, a little bit bad when I when I have when I like critique a mix when we're mm. when we're listening to anything. It doesn't matter who the artist is, if it's a local or if it's like some you know some signed band, some big mm. name, whatever. Mm. I always feel a little bit bad critiquing the mix because at the end of the day, like who am I to to, to critique somebody else's work like that? I don't yeah. I don't you know I have some things that I've produced, but I don't consider mm. them to be any great works of art either. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. so. So I always feel a little bit a little bit bad for for that. So like I, I hope you guys don't take it you don't take it too too hard. I wasn't trying to be too hard on anybody. You know I'm never trying to like ruffle any feathers or anything. I'm just like it's just how my ears hear it, and that's just how yeah. I know how to communicate. Is living in this world. That's kind of yeah. I, I I speak audio, so that's just kind of that's just kind of how I translate. But I think you guys killed it. Like yeah. I still think the mix overall is dope. Like I yeah. I think you guys are crushing. Yeah, and, I I I would get I would give you guys an A on the mix. You could have had an A plus, okay, but I'll give you an A. Dude, I <laughs> like, I think yep, know, yeah, it, it's not that it wasn't a bad mix. It's just there was a few little things that would have brought it over the top. That encapsulates like, everything that I that I was trying to get at mm, right there. Like yeah. it's 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 an A, not an A plus, but like I mean, if you ask me, going through school, that that's the same grade to me. Like I <laughs> right, I'll an take a, an A, dude. Any <laughs> any day, like, I'll, I'll take go, an A minus. I'll take A's <laughs> across the board on that report yeah. card, dude. Oh, Still fuck. an A. It's an A minus. Yeah. Still an A. Still an like, A. <laughs> an A oh, minus. Oh, fuck, dude. We, 
<laughs> A minus and a B plus. You know, we, that's pretty. You know, we're pretty close there. We were playing Warzone, dude, and we we fucking. I'm sorry. Hey, th- this will come around here, full circle. Give me a moment. We're playing Warzone, right? And it gets to, to, to kind of the last circle, and uh, it was me and Doobie and Mason, right? Me and Mason die. Doobie's Doobie's the only one left. Well, he goes to a buy station, buys us back. Okay, me and Mason are dropping into last circle. Uh oh, with a pistol and a dream. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doobie has got his full loadout. He's got a thing full of plates. He's got a UAV in his pocket. Nice. You know, he's got oh, yeah. grenades and shit. Oh, yeah. He's good to he's, go. He's hooked up. Yeah. Me and Mason are just like, why? Why did you even bother? Here we go. Like, I guess. <laughs> so we drop into this little house with him. There's two shotguns, right? I was like. Better than nothing, I guess. So we pick up the shotguns. We fucking shit all over the last <laughs> team, dude, with these shotguns. Hell yeah, dude. It, it was the Hell cheapest yeah. win we've ever fucked. And dude was like, dude, we won, but I, f- God, dude, that was just not right. <laughs> fucking ganged up by shotguns. Like, shotguns are way overpowered in that game. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I go, hey, man, W's a W. Dude. <laughs> like, like, Still a W. <laughs> Still an A, oh, still a God. W. Yeah. Uh, overall, I, I say, you know, a 4.975 out of 5. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's it. I, I think yeah. that as close as you can get without it being like a full-on professional production. You yeah. guys killed it. I think you are yeah. killing it. And, I like, again, I said, I think the first time that we watched you guys, oh. if I or maybe the last time, whatever it was, if I was in the Denver scene, man, I, yeah. I'd be sweating a little bit. Like, damn, okay, yeah. I got to start working on something. Got to have For something real. rolling out, dude. For you guys real. just keep pumping out the shit and, like, yeah. It's, you know, you got to work and killing it, man. Yeah. I, I, I would say like, if you guys are looking for, and, and I don't know how your guys' live shows go. I, I would love to have you guys up here and play a live show sometime or whatever. For sure. Um, but if you meet us in Denver and go to that, uh, moonshine bandits show, if you want to see a way, uh, on how to work a crowd, watch the moonshine bandits, dude. They, I, I don't know what it is about those guys. I haven't seen them yet. So but I'm excited. They just know like how to get a crowd to do exactly what they want them to do. Like yeah. it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I always encourage musicians, even if it's not your genre, go check out every live show you possibly can and learn what you can. And if you guys haven't checked out the moonshine bandits, it's definitely worth checking out for sure. Um, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed this yeah. video as much yeah. as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bow. Flailing arms thing was. Oh, don't mind me, just doing something dumb. Oh my god! Okay.